every day all across the globe. Buildings of all shapes and sizes absorb the harsh light of the sun. The challenge, particularly during the summertime, is cooling these buildings. We generate a huge amount of waste heat and they cannot be dumped out. Rong Gui Yan has come up with a way to get rid of that heat. He and a team of engineers at the University of Colorado Boulder have developed a film that both reflects incoming solar rays and allows the object it covers to release heat in the form of infrared radiation. The process is called radiative cooling. That infrared light goes out through the so-called atmospheric window to the outer space. The energy is going to keep going from the Earth's surface to that place and never come back. Zhao Bo Yin has also helped perfect the film, which is a thin, transparent plastic with tiny glass beads of a very precise size mixed in. This is probably the thinnest material you can ever imagine that allows you to do this process. The film is much more energy efficient than air conditioners, which rely on electricity and refrigerants, which contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. The film also works better in some places than others. You can potentially apply this material on windows and it helps cooling down the house. Insulated roofs are more difficult. The film could eventually help cool down power plants. Cars are another option. Think about if you apply one meter square films on every single car. That's already tremendous business we're talking about. The scientists' research, published recently in the journal Science, is the product of a $3 million U.S. Energy Department grant. It's generated headlines and lots of interest. The film, still awaiting a patent, has definite commercial possibilities. We do see great potentials to put this into market space. This technology, which uses no electricity or water, could cool solar panels, making them more efficient and cost effective than they are now. To us, it's just a wonderful thing. We should have tried to get everybody to use it if we can. We can collect. In the meantime, and testing on reliability and other issues continues here in this Colorado lab. Hendrix Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.